Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at these things, which are valves, or if you're in America, tubes. When I purchased my matchless Independence 35 over there, I spoke to a, a UK shop, and the UK shop said, the first thing you've got to do inside your matchless is to pull out the old JJ valves and put in electroharmonics. It makes a massive difference. So I wanna find out today whether changing the valves or changing the output valves, should I say, in my amplifier is actually gonna make that much of a difference. The Matches Independence 35 takes EL34 valves. And these are the original EL34 valves that were in the, in the matchless. What I decided to do was to go and buy a couple of different valves to really see if it actually does make that much of a difference. Now in the UK, we have a company called Watford Valves and that's where I get all of my valves from when I need any. And they do these valves called Harmer retrograde EL34s. They do them in all sort of different valve types. But these Harmer valves are supposed to be the pick of the crop, the ones that they test and come out the best. So we're gonna try them as well as the JJs. Now, what I also thought I'd do is to buy a set of these, which are six CA7s. If you have an amplifier that takes EL34s, as far as I know, this is every single EL34 amp, you can buy six CA7s. Now, these are a slightly different valve Apparently they've got more characteristics of a 6L6, so more of the, the bigger sort of fender amps. So I'm gonna put them in as well. And we're gonna see whether all of these valves actually make a difference. So I put the JJ valves back in the matchless amplifier and I'm gonna be using the same song that we did the speaker test with, just so you know there's no discrepancy between any of the guitar parts. So they're all gonna be the same guitar part played on the same guitar going through the same effects, mic'd up with the same speaker, all of that sort of stuff. So really we're just hearing the difference between the valves. So let's go for the first take. This is test number two. So this is the second valve set. Now what I've put in at the moment is the Harmer valve set. As I said before, these are the premium valves sold by Watford Valves in the UK. So let's see how they sound.
Last of all, let's put in these Electroharmonix 6CA7s and see how different these sound. So we've recorded three guitar parts, almost exactly the same. Now what I'm gonna do is to play back the video and I'm gonna cut in between all the different valves so you can really hear if there is a difference. So I've come to the conclusion that there is a difference. It's a small difference, but there is a difference. I thought the, the JJ valves, the original valves that were in the matchless were a little bit harsher um, and they tended to drive a little bit quicker. Now, not a bad sound, it sounded great. The Harman valves I thought were smoother and a bit brighter. So they sort of rounded off the edges. Again, these are tiny little details that I'm talking about here. And the six CA7s didn't have as much bottom end as the EL34s. And I was quite surprised about that because I thought if it's got more of the characteristics of a 6L6, which is more of the sort of big fender sort of sound, they tend to have a little bit fuller bottom end than say EL84s. But again, we're talking tiny, tiny differences. Now, if you're thinking of changing the valves in your amplifier and your valves are perfectly good, I think you've got a question whether you should even bother personally, I don't think I'd ever bother again. I think the valves that were in the in the matches are absolutely fine and it would have saved me probably 80 pounds in the other two sets of valves. But at least at the moment, I've got a couple of sets of valves just in case these valves go down at any point. Anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.